Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today we're going to check out how you can actually predict the benefits of adding pressure support to an oil reservoir by injecting water. Typically this is reserved for very complex, very expensive reservoir simulators. But did you know that you can actually do this incredibly easily and quickly in the Harmony Enterprise software? Let's check it out. So here in Harmony Enterprise I've got three oil well locations and I've got a potential injector location. In the reservoir module we can very easily launch this numerical multi-well model either for conventional wells or unconventional. I'm going to use conventional. So I've kind of just drawn my boundaries. You can modify them on the screen and for each of these wells, for example this is well number one in the top right, I see that it's has a permeability of 10 millidarcies I've given it, a scan of 3, a net pay, a porosity, and those properties apply to this region right here. Well number 2, which is in the bottom right, has a different permeability, different skin, different net pay, and those properties apply here, and well 3 has its own properties. Uh, this in the middle is our potential injection well, but we're not going to use it right away. We're going to try to predict what would this oil field produce for us under natural primary production. So I'm going to go ahead and do a 10-year forecast and right now I'm just looking at the pressure distribution map. I can look at the gas distribution map. All my grid cells are set up automatically so I don't have to spend time doing that. So we are about halfway done. A 10-year forecast. We'll put our pressure map back on. Okay and it's all done. So the result of this is we get an oil, gas, and water forecast for the entire reservoir, and we also get the production forecast for each of the wells. Uh, down here we can even see each well's predicted GOR and water oil ratio. So I'm going to call this my base case. In fact, I called it no injection. But what if we are to add injection? So in this case, I've actually turned on this injection well, and I say, what if I inject at 1,000 barrels per day. So now I'm going to watch, in this case I have the water saturation map turned on and we see as the 10-year forecast begins how that injector, injector well is increasing in water saturation. We can look at the pressure distribution map and see the pressure is higher around that injector well. Again these three oil wells are still producing but now they have the help of this injection well. progress bar says we're just about done. This is so fast. Again this is fully multi-phase numerical reservoir model and we can see the result from this. We have a new forecast. We have uh, new water oil ratios for each well and so I've basically done this for two more scenarios. All I've done is sensitivity on here is different injection rates. So I went from 1,000 barrels per day injection to 2,000 barrels per day to 3,000 barrels per day. And we can see just from this water saturation map at the end of 10 years how uh, these results are differing. But let's see how the forecasts actually change from the oil producers by adding this pressure support. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. So this is a rate time plot of each of these scenarios combining all of the produced oil. So the black line is my forecast if we do no injection. The blue line is the forecast if we inject at 1,000 barrels per day. This is if we inject at 2,000 barrels per day, what that oil production will be, or at 3,000 barrels per day. And I see a bit of an interesting shape here in my oil decline. Um, we'll figure out why that is later. It's actually because water breakthrough is going to be happening and our water oil ratios are going to spike, basically. Uh, I can also very quickly see what those cumes are going to be. The base case is 8 million barrels of oil, 9.3 million, 
10.4 million and 11.3 million barrels cum. Okay, let's start looking at those ratios there. So I've gone ahead and set all of these water oil ratios to my comparison plot. So if I start with well number three, where we're not injecting, this is my predicted water oil ratio for well number three. The same well, if we inject a thousand barrels per day, the water oil ratio is changing a bit. And we actually see if we inject at 3,000 barrels per day, this particular producing well, we're going to see breakthrough in, at, near the end of the forecast. Okay, so we see how sensitive this particular well is to different injection rates. Uh, we can look do the same thing for well number one. So water oil ratio with no injection. Again, water oil ratio produced from well number one. If we inject at 1,000 barrels per day, or at 2,000 barrels per day, or at 3,000 barrels per day. So well number one is much more sensitive uh, to the water injection rates in terms of its producing water oil ratio and when breakthrough happens. So we can see at, at the high injection rate how breakthrough is occurring for each well and when that happens. And that's kind of explaining why I see my oil forecast in orange kind of dipping down here in the case where I'm injecting 3,000 barrels per day. Again, so this is something that has taken only a few minutes to do and set up and already we're starting to get an idea for these sensitivities and our expectations. The, uh, the final thing I can do as an option is I can either send these forecasts out to any of my reserve software or I can also do some simple economics right in Harmony Enterprise. So this is my discounted cash flow forecast if I don't do any water injection or if I inject at a thousand barrels per day we got a slightly higher initial cost we have some different operating costs for the energy and horsepower to uh, inject water injecting at a higher water rate and then the highest water rate see what our cash flow is going to be so we can export these discounted cash flows and uh, do some quick checks there so this was just one sensitivity right my own the only sensitivity I had was on the different injection volumes but imagine all the other sensitivities sensitivities you could have um, in locating the injection well at different spots bringing this injection well on at different times um, maybe assuming different permeabilities for the producing wells or different skins different original oils in place uh, this is how easy it is and as you can see this numerical model runs so fast it's actually practical for anyone to use. So what does this mean for you? Well first it means that if you've been considering water injection for pressure support now you can predict it. The second thing is if you already have a field on water injection and you want to history match it, great. You can do the same thing with this quick and easy multi-phase model. Finally, you actually now have access to a fast, easy, and affordable multi-well, multi-phase numerical model. Again, historically this has been out of the reach for the average engineer and that's what we actually offer and that's available in Harmony Enterprise. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.